Hi, Paula Jo from Cedar Quilts with another episode of the Cross of Many Squares quilt. This is just a snippet of a holiday holiday with Lori's sister, Erica. She wanted to make a Cross of Many Squares quilt. And so this shows you a little bit of the process and especially how we can customize the, the inner part of the cross by using some of the border fabrics in there. Enjoy. Shades of cherry wood in here mm -hmm. so that we can easily change out that little bit of cherry wood and just mix in a tad. But again, we could mix in, I've got a few little prints in here and we could take out these and, and put that in. Mm -hmm. And that would be gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah? I think we should. Okay. And if we have enough material because then oh, I yes. like the way that we're going to tie this in in the inner cross a little bit. Then it's yep. going to be this, and then that will pull and be... Yep. I like that we idea. Could even do, we could even probably put in one more down in the bottom somewhere, but I only had four pieces of this. Yeah. So I just stuck in four. Mm -hmm. But yes, if you like that... Then I think it will... Then I like that how it ties it's in. It's really going to be pretty then. Mm -hmm. I think that will be gorgeous. We might want to choose slightly different where we put these mm -hmm. four pieces of that. Mm -hmm. once we have it together but depending on how long you guys are here today and how um, OCD you are about mm -hmm. it or you know we just need to get it in there and it just needs to be these colors mm -hmm. we might be able to even stack this all up for you today okay have fun this is the purple corner mm -hmm. that's the green corner and we can make this green a whole lot bigger and taller if there's anything you don't like mm -hmm. just pull it and replace it yeah so I oftentimes will have kind of a an arching you know Mm -hmm. array of a color kind of making the circle 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 circles okay okay so you can oftentimes see there's kind of this burnt orange here there's the yellow bright here there's a little dab of green there's a you see that yeah going that works really well and then occasionally I have a little bit of a sunlight beam you know the clouds the sunlight coming through the clouds yep look mm -hmm. So again, I sometimes will pull a color to stream through. Um, I can kind of work on the, the red and the blue a little bit and whatnot, but this should be kind of pinky red over here. This is also pinky red up here, usually, mm -hmm. but yeah. It, it's all good. Um, with the greens. You start with the green. But how do I, oh, so should I, I go out as far as this one or we're gonna take this one off right because I don't know I how just, far I have to I keep working just, out I, you're gonna go to here oh, for go sure to here or one more block over no I think we're gonna skip that one I think so we're just, gonna we're gonna put the solid green in here and then we're gonna put a different border there so okay. we're not gonna use this outer one okay so this is my frame of reference yes okay and like I say, anything okay. that you don't like, you just start pulling and put in, pull off of there, mm -hmm. you know, and you just kind of, okay, we're going to put in a couple of these. I kind of do every other quite often, you know, there's a light and a dark and a light yeah. and dark and light, kind of checkerboardy, but then I try to mix it up a little bit so it's not obviously checkerboardy. Mm -hmm. I think it's too checkerboardy. Then it's then it looks like a pattern. It's too noticeable. Yep. But there's usually you know about four of any one print, and this is going to be within your quarter inch. Mm -hmm. So you know you just kind of every other, and you put a few up, and then pretty soon you go, mm, yeah, I don't like that, and we're gonna do it slightly different, and it it just it just works. Like this. Oh, just that it it creates that. It creates this oval little, it, you know, it's lighter, medium, dark. Okay, gotcha. And oftentimes we have one five by five square cut into four pieces, mm -hmm. and then that's what you've got to work with. So if you can use three or four of them out here, it just it just makes it all look happy. Okay. Yeah. And on some of these, and you'll notice this in your sister's pack, sometimes the wrong side gives us the color that we need, the mm -hmm. tone. And so 
we purposely sometimes put them inside Backwards. out. Yep. And so when you're sewing them, you're going to sew them just the way they're stacked. Okay. And you don't don't worry that oh my goodness this one's flipped around. It's probably be fine. it's probably because we liked the the back side of it for the amount of color mm -hmm. a little better than the the right side of it. And so if I get down into here, well I might find that I can only do like a couple. Yep. Like this one and this one yep, because we're so need. tight in here. Yep. Okay. Yep. Absolutely. So yeah, just just keep putting a few in and you know at any point you can throw in a solid to break up something else and mm -hmm. so yeah, just just keep it going. Okay. You ready? Okay. Let's give this a try. Here's another. They really pop in just a yellow, like just boom. Uh huh. I don't know why, but they do. Well, the picture and especially if you like the yellow yes and it's just like fireflies in the night sky mm -hmm. you know you can always throw in a yellow or a white to to just pop it's it just that sparkle up there and I think they need a little bit of that cookie up as well what do we not like over here um what really stands out to me mm -hmm is this one right there this one mm -hmm. yeah i always love that one i do it, it just doesn't quite no do you like that one better or that one better and we could move it mm. to a different spot if we want do we need a little try more try moving this one up this one up? Yep. And oh, and you know what? Let's switch these two because this one is much more white. This one has more color. There. I really like this flower too. I know, and we could get that more. What about in over in here? Like Maybe in that one, because I like the way it brings them purples. Mm -hmm. And the blue. Mm -hmm. And there's a little dab of that yellow again. And then... And we have quite a few of these in there, so we don't need... Yeah, we do. Quite that many of those. Okay. I thought this was really cute, too. I don't have any of those in there anywhere. Is there something that's just a little too blah or bright that needs just a little yeah. oh and then here these these have butterflies do you like butterflies mm -hmm. as which is i'm more of a dragonfly kind dragonfly, of girl but okay. butterflies are a close second they are a close second okay from back there you have to tell me what to what to kind of draw into itself a little bit more should we maybe even put that so they're more in the middle ish yep I'm going to move, I kind of feel like the hot pinky red we need in here, the ready hot pinkies. Down more here? Yeah. Yeah, like here? I think so. And maybe pull out the, this hot pinky too. Mm -hmm. Okay. And like maybe here, and move this one up. 